Nine boxes of documents got shipped by Biden's attorney, Patrick Moore, to his law office in Boston before. Okay, I want to make sure this is clear to everybody. That was before the 10 classified documents that were discovered at the Penn Biden Center. Remember, that was on November 2nd. But they shipped an additional nine boxes over to the law office. And remember, we, we had there was some discussion about that Boston law office and having some of those materials there. Eventually, we now learned that on November 3rd, that uh, the National Archives picked those boxes up, okay? But they have not reviewed the contents. It's just very bizarre to me when you look at this, uh, again, that everything was supposed to be done. I thought everything has been searched. And I want you to understand that so far, for whatever reason, these boxes were taken away before the, quote, discovery of the other 10 classified uh, documents, before the raids, or whatever you want to call them, before the FBI went into search. And then now that the National Archives has the boxes since November, but they haven't looked to see what's inside. So what game is going on? I mean, there's no explanation. Are, is it attorney-client privilege? But they didn't. They gave the boxes over to the National Archives. I mean, they don't know if it's nothing if they haven't looked in. It's just, again, you see the dual treatment. Remember, these boxes are either coming from Senator Joe Biden or Vice President Joe Biden, not President Biden. He does not have the ability to declassify information like Donald Trump did. What is really important to note here is that they are not being transparent. This is a drip, 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 more boxes, more information. They did not have a strategy of going in to every possible location and seizing and searching everything, including closets of Joe Biden, which is exactly what they did with Donald Trump. So we go back to the same old thing, Jordan, where the weaponization of government by the left on conservatives continues. And that's where the credibility of DOJ and FBI and all of these people investigating, they have a huge credibility problem with the American people and they just don't get it. This is January. It was supposed to all be done, remember? And then we found out after this statement, it really still wasn't done when it came to the classified documents and the dual standard, the difference uh, in treatment between uh, a Republican, or uh, let's just be honest, Donald Trump and everyone else. Because even Pence hasn't gone through what Trump went through, uh, and uh, and certainly Biden, uh, they won't even you know they they don't call it a raid, even though imagine the FBI going through all of your belongings for twelve hours uh, uh, throughout your homes. You said that the search has been completed, but is the president confident that there are no additional documents with classified markings that remain in any other additional locations? Look, uh, I can just refer you to what his team said. The search is complete. Uh, he is confident in this process, and I will leave it there. This is not complete. This is not done. Because there were five more pages of classified documents discovered uh, January uh, 14th. That was just hours after the statement of January 12th saying, ah, there's nothing to see here. Uh, no issue here. This is totally complete. It's the ends justify the means. Donald Trump has demonstrated that he is completely the outsider from Washington, D.C., doesn't play by their rules doesn't care about the same things that they care about. And so therefore, they are trying to destroy him because he is effectively implementing a reform package in Washington, D.C. I believe that they are very nervous about Donald Trump coming back and knowing what he knows now, how quickly he could implement reform. Now that this has been uncovered, the question is uh, for, for National Archives, okay, was there anything there? Oh, we haven't looked yet. That was their official statement. NARA, which is the National Archives and Records Administration, has not reviewed the contents of the boxes found at Mr. Moore's Boston office. Has the special counsel? That's has. Uh, I mean, there's a special counsel. I mean, who's it even in possession? I guess it would be National Archives, but the special counsel would certainly have access to it if they wanted to.